Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tenergy channel. In today's video, we'll try to debunk some battery myths to better understand how to maximize their potential. We put a new video out every week, so if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to learn something new. Myth number one, you should always fully drain your batteries before recharging them. This is mostly false except for nickel cadmiums. It's a good practice to discharge the battery to 0% before recharging it, but this action only applies to NICAD battery types. NICAD batteries are more prone to memory effect, which will cause them to lose a significant amount of capacity if they are repeatedly recharged before using up all of their stored energy. For other battery types, including nickel metal hydride, lithium ion, or lithium iron phosphate, and zeolite acid batteries, they don't have this memory effect, so draining their energy before recharging them would be a waste of time and even reduce their cycle life unnecessarily. For example, an SLA battery or zeolite acid battery is recommended to not be discharged more than 50% of its capacity to prevent damage and decrease its lifespan. So one takeaway from this myth is to only deplete nickel cadmium battery before recharging them to prevent memory effect. Draining other battery types before charging them will do more harm than good. Next, myth number two, batteries last longer when stored in the refrigerator. This is false. This myth is one of the most popular battery myths out there. It started way back when rechargeable batteries had a huge self-discharge rate around 20 to 30% per month. Some people saw that by putting them in the fridge, the cold temperature would help to slow down the chemical reaction in the batteries and prevent them from losing power during storage. However, nowadays, there's been lots of improvements in rechargeable battery technology, which means rechargeable batteries have a very low self-discharge and won't benefit from being stored in the refrigerator. For example, this Centura AA will only lose 50% after a year of being in storage. So no, you don't need to store the batteries in the fridge. In addition, batteries don't like extreme hot or cold temperatures or moist environments. So storing them in the fridge may expose them to those factors and result in actually damaging them instead. The correct way to store batteries is to place them in a cool, dry location at normal room temperature, which is around 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 to 22 degrees Celsius. It's also a good habit to check in on your batteries to see how charged they are every few months and recharge them if they get too low. Myth number three, rechargeable batteries have less runtime than disposable batteries. This could be true and false. This mostly depends on your device's current draw though. In the case of low drain devices such as remote controllers, wall clocks, or smoke alarms, disposable batteries will last longer due to their very low self-discharge. However, in the case of high drain devices such as digital cameras, power tools, or RC toys, rechargeable batteries will power these devices longer than disposable batteries because their discharge characteristics is more stable than alkaline batteries. We made a video explaining that. You can check it out up here. So depending on your device, rechargeable batteries may perform better than disposable batteries and vice versa. As we mentioned, rechargeable batteries are better for high drain devices since they last longer and can be reused. Myth number four, it's okay to mix batteries. This is absolutely false. Some people might think that it's okay to mix batteries and that manufacturers are only saying not to do that for their own benefit, but no, it's not okay to mix batteries, especially mixing rechargeable and disposable batteries or batteries with different capacities and voltages. Doing so may reduce the device's performance, cause battery leakage and or lead to damaging both the batteries and the device. For example, this flashlight requires four 18650 batteries to work. And let's say I accidentally only bought three batteries, but I happen to have an old 18650 batteries, but I'm not sure how old it is. I charge them all up and insert them into the flashlight and everything seems to work just fine. But as the flashlight continues to draw power from the four batteries, the old one will most likely run out of power first due to its internal resistance being higher than the new batteries. This will lead to the light not lasting as long as it should be, or in a worst case scenario, the old battery will continue to be over discharged and be permanently damaged. To prevent that, it's a good practice not to mix and match batteries. Always replace them all at once with the batteries from the same capacity, voltage, and even the same brand. All right, that's all for today's video. If you've heard any other battery myths and aren't sure if it's true, please share them with us down in the comments section below. We're happy to make another video to explore and debunk them. Thank you, and we'll see you next week.